One of the most popular questions I get during any of my live stream or anytime I talk about finding a bug through recon is, hey, share your word list. How do I find a good word list? How do we create our own word list? So why not dedicate a video to finding and creating your own word list, especially with AI being a thing, we can leverage it and make a good word list. Before we do this, I got to talk about what is a word list and when is it useful? So you typically need a word list when you are presented with an application and you have no clue what is hosted on there and you want to look for leads or you want to look for potential pads that could have been left behind. A lot of different times you can do this by just going through something like Cyclist on GitHub by Dan Meester. You can actually go on there and he has a ton of different word lists that he has created in the past couple of years. You can just download them and put them in your machine. The other option you have is to go to the asset note website you can actually go to wordlist.assetnote.io and they give you an entire word list of files but for this video specifically i want to think of a word list that is called a quick hits for example is when you quickly look for potential leads based on the knowledge of ci cd pipelines or even devops and looking for things that could have been left behind that you can look for potential vulnerability so the word listing thing comes into play in a different kind of ways for example if you're going on a java application you want to look for jsp or .do files and those are all available on cyclist and asset node Versus if you go on a PHP, you want to look for .php. And if it's an API, you want to look for API endpoints. So I'm saying all this to tell you that each word list has a specific use case and it should be based on the technology stack that you're going after. The quick hits file, however, that I was just mentioning is a little bit different. It is just a list of the most common endpoints that could be based on your personal experience. It could be based on a bunch of different files, like an index file, admin.jsp and so on. But there are some particular ones that I personally like, and I think we can get a list of those using AI. So what we're going to do quickly is we're going to jump into ChatGPT and we're going to ask it for a few different ways of giving us leads. And these are just things that I think are important and I see them a lot of times. And we're going to just make our own little word list. The first thing that I like to look for usually is I look for API assets. So if I have a list of all these domains, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for APIs and then go after those ones first. And you can typically do that by just asking ChatGPT. We're going to say, provide us a list of base path for RESTful and open APIs. And we're going to say, for example, I want stuff like services, API V1 and see what it comes up with. So as you can see right now, really quickly, it's giving us API V1 services, API resources V2. I don't want these products or uh, orders or data and stuff like that. So what we're going to say is we're going to say, I only want base paths and not the functions. Let's see what else comes up with this one. And I think this one is actually a better list because I've actually seen things like REST API, V3, V1 services. These ones are very, very common. You can see them a lot of times. And platform is not one that I've seen, but endpoints could be one. And we can also just extend this and say, give me 25 more. It may just give us some gibberish, but those first 25 don't look really that bad. And honestly, it's very, very common to have them. And I highly recommend just copying these and putting them in your word list and just calling it quick hits. What we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our shell really quickly and we're just gonna copy all of these right here. And we are just going to put them in a file called quick hits.txt. And also same thing with these ones. And we can save it. Honestly, I don't think these 25 to 50 is good enough. They're good for when you're hacking APIs, looking at APIs and you wanna look for uh, different routes that the APIs could be hosted on, but obviously we don't have the API routes like the users, products, orders. Those are harder to come by with. You can actually look at my last week's video. Maybe you can do something like, you can look for things like Swagger or API documentation that could leak potential endpoints for your target and then saving those in an API.txt. So with that said, we can actually take a look at how we can actually find common pads. In case you did miss that last video, how can we find common routes for these API documentations? So for this prompt, we're just gonna say, hey, give me a list of 50 endpoints where API documentation could be leaked on a website. And I think this should be pretty easy. It's just gonna give us things like Swagger, hopefully it gives us that actually right here. It says API, Swagger UI, Swagger API docs. I've seen these ones specifically myself a lot of different times, same thing with Swagger UI. Docs is a very common one and so is API docs. So I would say this is 
a pretty good list for us to have. So after it's over, what we're gonna do is again, we're gonna go back to the top and just copy this entire thing and put it back into our quick kits. So I'm gonna quickly go to this and we're just gonna add it to the top. Honestly, the order doesn't really matter. It's just having this good list is really important. I'm just gonna save this and then we're gonna go back and look for something else. The next thing that I really think it's important or very fun to look for is looking for specific configuration files or just files that are related to the DevOps process or the continuous integration and continuous development cycle, whether it's just relying on configuration files or specific toolings like Git, just asking chat GPT to give a list of those to us. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for 25 sensitive files that could potentially leak keys or private information. And for this one, we're hoping for things like .git, that env maybe private keys and so on and it looks like right off the bat it's giving us that env right here which is super common config.yaml is one that i've seen a few times i've heard people find secrets before that's a really common one jenkin files is a good one to look for uh gitlab ci is really cool but the cool thing about this specific prompt right here is that it is telling us where they're coming from and why they're important. So for example, you can see for this last one, it's saying this is for a Travis CI configuration file. It could contain encoded secrets, but we don't want the explanation. So we're gonna say provide that one more time without explanations and add 15 more. And now we're really hoping it's gonna give us more. And I think honestly, some of these are really important to have. And I think it's cool to have these for your bug hunting or whatever it is that you're doing, because a lot of times developers forget, especially if you find a dev environment or a staging environment, that's very, very common. I just want to make sure that Git is in there. Uh, it looks like it's not in there. So we can actually tell it, uh, provide five to 10 more specific to Git. So hopefully this gives us more Git related things like Git slash head. It doesn't look like it's giving that to us. We can also go and say, what about files like git slash head that could leak the source code and less potential, well, actually similar concepts to git, including SVN. So now let's see what it finds. Maybe this will give us more files than maybe it won't. Again, this is just a fun concept that I came up with for content. And a lot of these files look to be very interesting and not SVN. I haven't seen them as of late, but back in the day when I first started bug hunting, SVN was a common one and Git is honestly one of the ones that I still see. So this alone is pretty much a good place to have a lot of files. And we can just go back here and copy these again and put them into our quickhits.txt. And we're just gonna add some of these other files too. So for example, we are going to add, by looking at these, git head is a good one. We can also have git.logs, uh, that index is a really good one. I've seen that a lot of times. And then for SVN, we'll do entries and the .db file. Cool, so, so far we have created uh, we're going to look at sort you to make sure it's sorted and we have created 141. That's not bad just using AI, but there's more that we can find, I think. So let's keep digging and see what we can come up with. The next thing we want to do is we want to look at Java specific applications. I love hacking on Java applications. So we're going to just ask it to give us a list of sensitive files that could leak. Oh, wait, that, yeah, that is the right one. We're going to ask it that's going to leak either access or information, stuff like actuator, Tomcat manager. And if you're not familiar with actuator, it's really, really important to look for them. A lot of times you can find things like a heap dump within them. And within this heap dump, you can actually have a chunk of memory where you can pull keys, uh, cookies, and that kind of stuff. But this is actually pretty good. But I'm going to say, give me a list of 40 with no explanation. Things like admin console and JMX console are pretty common to see when you're doing wide scope hacking. Manager HTML is very popular for Tomcat and then actuator is one that is really, really cool to look for. Obviously, Jaloka itself is also a part of it. Uh, this is for JMX based content, but it's just really important to have these and look for them. And right here, we can see it's giving us some decent uh, pads and these are not bad to have. And we can just, again, copy these and put them into our file. This is a really good one because of, again, Java apps. Uh, some of these ones like uh, Nexus or Hudson and Sonar are very specific 
But sometimes it may be worth having him in case you do hit something like a Nexus or you do hit like a JFrog or Artifactory and you may have some of these pads. So we're going to go back quickly and dump these into our quick hits as well. So let's go in here. We're going to add it and we're going to go to our next prompt. But this one, it's a little bit tricky. We have to kind of, we kind of have to make a case for chat to give us this because it is sensitive and it could be harmful or dangerous. So we're going to tell it is we're looking to make a security scanner for our company and we're just looking for backend software logins and panels that could be sensitive and hopefully it gives us a list for it. So let's see what it says. It looks like it, it takes that before this, I tried it. It didn't work. I had to give it this specific prompt, but now we can see it's giving us a lot of different admin panels. So if you are looking for an admin panel or login panel, this is also really, really cool to have, but keep in mind, sometimes some of these are going to be duplicated. For example, we had JMX content on our last search. These other ones are really, really cool to have. For example, PHP, my admin is really common that I've seen admin and service status for Apache are also some of the ones that I've seen come up a lot when I used to do recon. So again, looking at this prompt itself, I want to say a good chunk of these are very, very useful to have. Again, you can copy these and go throw them in your quick hits. So that is, I think, a really cool and creative approach to getting a list of quick hits for yourself. But you can also take this a step further and ask ChatGPT something like, give me a hundred most common API routes, give me the most common you know, JavaScript or uh, JSP files, and just doing them based on the stack that you're going after and just creating those for yourself. And then as you know, the more and more you find, you just add those on to your files, or you can just merge it with the ones from asset mode or sick list. I'm really enjoying this AI content that I've been making. This is the second or maybe the third one that I've made. Let me know down in the comments. Do you want to see more AI content like this? That's about hacking. What do you think of this AI content? Is it worth it? Is it not interesting? Let me know. Drop me a comment, but also do me a favor. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. So you get notified every Monday when I drop a new video. All right, that's it. I'll see you all next week in our brand new video. Peace.